Happy Christmas and welcome to the What Holiday Special. I'm Chris Strouth and I'll be your host for today's Holiday Hijinks. Stuffing your stocking today is Bean Girl and Lefty Lucy and lots of other special guests. And if you're very good, I won't say who, but I will say I heard sleigh bells coming up the other side of the street. I really hope you enjoy this special holiday edition of What. We were going to do a wacky parody of A Christmas Carol, but once the sweat hogs have done it, really, what's the point? So we'll let the holiday hijinks ensue. I'm Timothy D. Kerr, inviting you to join me attacking the buffet table at the Roadside Inn. They have all of your holiday favorites. Eggnog, Santa's favorite milk and cookies, mincemeat pie, and everybody's favorite fruitcake. The Roadside Inn, 24-hour delivery, all the instant coffee you can drink, and there's plenty of free off-street parking. The Roadside Inn.
Say, aren't you that guy? You must stay up really late at night. Being Christmas time, I thought it would be the, a really good time to relate one of my personal favorite Christmas stories. Once upon a time, there were these kids and they built a really large snowman. And for some reason, they had a, a magic hat lying around the house and they decided to put it on said snowman. And well, it started to get snowman came to life and well, magic snowman started to melt a little bit. So we went to the North Pole with Santa Claus. The end. Say, let's see what's happening over here. Why, it's Bill Allen and Dave, the Vibro Champs. Hi, Merry w Christmas. What an unexpected surprise. What are you fellas doing here? Well, you asked us to come. Yeah, thanks for keeping up the <laughs> illusion. Uh, why don't you just go ahead and play something? <laughs> All of the other reindeer, reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They never let Paul Rudolph play in any reindeer game. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you drive my sleigh to and all the reindeers loved him, and they shouted out with glee, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, you'll go down in history, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, you'll go down in history. In my opinion, the best waffles are at the roadside inn. Waffles with syrup, blueberry waffles, waffles a la mode, Philly beef waffles, and that Middle East taste treat, falafel waffles. The roadside in, 24-hour delivery, all the instant coffee you can drink, and for takeout, there's plenty of free off-street parking. The roadside in. remember my childhood back in the Smoky Mountains. We never had much money, but we had each other and that was all that mattered. Daddy had to work really hard in the coal mines to try and support all us kids. But sure shooting every Christmas, there was quite a feast on the table. Mama put out quite the spread, hog jowls, collard greens, 
And of course, everybody's favorite squirrel pie. I remember Daddy and Uncle Jake would always sneak back to Grandma still for extra, extra helpings of that white lightning. Grandpa was never much of a book learning man, but every Christmas Eve he would gather up all us youngins and recite to us the story of the very first Christmas. Christmas Day was always special for my sisters and I. Get all gussied up to get ready for Christmas Mass. I remember one year my mama made me a beautiful pink lace dress. Oh, wait a minute, I got myself confused with Dolly Parton again. I guess our Christmas holidays mainly consisted of sitting around watching It's a Wonderful Life and complaining about my mom's cooking. Um, well, anyway, here's Bean Girl. When I first saw you, I knew that I loved you, but you didn't know that you loved me. So then I bought a donut trailer, donut messages of love. I'm on your block today. We're gonna walk today. Used to be donuts. Well, some girls use voodoo and some girls get made up. But when you saw my donut truck, well, you were a lucky duck. We'll be riding around in a donut trailer, donut trailer, donut master club. I'm on your block today. We're gonna rock today. Donuts from my truck. Thank you. I'm coming to the donut trailer. Would you like some extra cinnamon with those donuts? Would you like some extra sugar with that? Would you like a couple of tasty freeze fries or some hot dogs or a country pork combo? Thank you for coming to the donut trailer. Well, that about wraps up this special holiday season of what? I would like to mention we did have this really great like gag thing planned with a City Pages, Jim Meyer, and the Twin Cities readers, Brett Anderson, and of course, Minnesota Daily, Simon Peter. They all had horrible problems happen today, but luckily we've got Minnesota Daily, Simon Peter here. Simon, would you like to close out the show? Sure would, Chris. Merry Christmas. God bless us everyone.
get my stuff Maybe kill some bugs Squirrel. Merry Christmas to <laughs> Mr. Gnome. This program is sponsored in part by support from Rev 105 Radio, 105.1 and 105.3 FM, the Radio Revolution, and Total Music Systems, Total Music Systems for sound results. Support is also provided by the Electric Fetus stores. For music, clothing, and gifts, find it all at the Electric Fetus. Chris Strout's wardrobe provided by Tatters, Tatters Alternative Clothing in Minneapolis. Thank you. 